Okay, up there. Right. I feel like something's gonna happen to Cowboy. Well, here goes. Oh my god. Grab your stuffies, welcome back to Dino Crisis 2. Uh, we left off in Edward City, where Cowboy had saved uh, Regina and Dylan uh, from a, a horde of raptors. And we are uh, in Edward City looking for data on the third energy to see if that we can build a way to get back to present day. And um, it looks like the whole village was attacked of all these villagers, so there's no saving them. Uh, still don't know what happened to Helmet Girl, but we'll find her eventually. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're that's where we are. And we've got Tiny Chew and Tiny Snore with us. Um, I hope you guys are doing well in the new year. Um, I am in the process of moving, which is why there is nothing behind me currently. Oh shoot. Um, and I have not played this in quite a few days. I've been kind of busy packing and stuff of that nature, but I'm hoping to at least finish this game before I move. Oh, shoot. Oh, I thought I could cut that because it's like viney. Ay, ay, ay! Ay, ay, ay! No, you should have attacked the group of them first, not the one! Silly, 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 silly. Get up the ladder, come on. What do we got? What do we got? Yes, I will take the rest sus attack. Alright, we're, 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 we're done messing with these things. The door is locked. To unlock it, you need the living quarters key. I got a key, didn't I? What was the key I got? Living quarters key. That's the key I got. That's the key I need. Perfect. I think we're looking for some sort of data on the third energy. Oh god, our friend's back. Oh man, this is just what I don't need. Could I take him down with the rocket launcher I got? How about that tank? Oh my god, get in the tank. Okay, I got a big surprise for you. Oh my god. Do we get to use the tank on him? Maneuver the tank and get through this area. Use the L1, R1 buttons to turn the cannon and the action button to fire the cannon. Also, by using the sub button, but button, you can fire a flash bomb to slow down the enemy. I can't even see... Stopped it for a while. Oh, it's back, it's back, it's back, it's back. Bitch! Ah! Stop it! Get away! Get away! Get away from me! Alright, we took him down again. What the hell are we driving on? Bring it. 
Bring it. You want some more? Yeah, get down. Sit down. Drive over your face. I'm gonna drive right over your face. I couldn't make your face look any worse than it already does. Oh god, he's getting back up. He's back up. He's back up. He's pissed. He's pissed. Where is he, though? Seriously, where are we? <laughs> oh, I can't fire at him anymore. Oh. You better get out, Dylan. Get out of that vehicle. Oh, he's just gonna turn around and walk away? Okay. Never mind. False alarm. You can stay in there if you want. Okay. There's a lot of, like, minigame parts in this game. Let me smash the truck. Chimney did. Oh, what is this? Gas mask! Oh, now he can go back to that area. The helmet people. But they're UFO guns. Hey, it's Helmet Girl! Whoa. What is that? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that looks so silly. Is he okay, at least? I don't feel like they're bad people. I feel like they're just in a situation they don't understand. What happened? My sister's necklace. Uh, this necklace belonged to my sister who passed away. What? This can't be possible. It looks so much like the one my sister used to wear. What? What do you mean? Well, I was a very different person before I joined the army. Just a worthless street thug. At the time, I was in a gang and... One day, our rivals forced their way into my house. I wasn't home, but my mom and sister were. And they were... Well, they're gone. Ah. And after that, I joined the army, and have spent every day trying to make up for the past. Come on, let's go back to the patrol ship. We have no business here now. I found a gas mask over there. We could use it to get into the deadly poison zone in the jungle. Let's go. What does that red light mean? Were they recording the conversation? Did his life force go out? I don't know. Okay, we're playing as Regina again. Now, does she get the rocket launcher that I bought? Submachine guns. No, she's got a different one. A missile pod. Uh, fires three homing rockets at once. The most powerful weapon of all. I'm buying it. You other guns can wait. <laughs> we're good on items. I think magazines were probably okay too. Yeah. EPS gold card. It automatically doubles the points you earn? I should have bought that. Shit. Oh well, next purchase. Oh, I should have bought that first. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so that's weird. So, that girl had his broke, his sister's brooch, or necklace. One more place. The deadly poison zone. And that's weird because she seems so connected to him. But how is it a sister if these people are from the future? Kinda weird. But man, I got another- I got... Pulled my heartstrings out for Dylan there. I felt bad for the guy now. Although he did it- he put them in that situation himself. I'm not even in the right area. At least he's trying to make up for his mistakes.
I will say in this game, I feel like they gave Rick, or not Rick, <laughs> that was the first game. They gave Dylan at least a little bit more character than they did Rick and Gale. Even knowing I wish they were kind of in this game a little bit, just to see what they're up to. But, I don't know, they didn't get very much character development. Although, don't even get me started on Cowboy. I don't know what the hell's up with him and why he's dressed like that. And I thought we'd get to play as Cowboy. I guess not. Alright, I gotta remember how to get back to there. Because it's been a while since I've been over here. In the jungle. Alright, so maybe this way? I don't think it was too far off from over here. Is there no enemies? Now there should be some. E no. Oh my god, they're everywhere! They're everywhere! Just run out, you bitch! Run! Jesus! I feel like it's smarter to almost grind the earlier dinosaurs to get points up for later in the game. Because these ones are so much harder to kill. Especially if you want to buy everything. Oh, that was cheap. That was cheap. Just run. Just run. Just run. Just run. Jeez, she doesn't even... Ah, I forgot how bad the pistol is. All right, all right, this is not even worth it. This is not even worth it. Just go. Just go. <laughs> I am wasting time here. Oh, I didn't even see you. I think this is it right here, with the gas mask. Yep. Do I need my flamethrower back out? I have to put on the gas mask. Um. okay. Doesn't seem like there's anything down here. Okay, I don't know what the, those things. I see those everywhere, but I don't know what the purpose of them are. Okay, well that was easy to get to. Is this the facility? Waste disposal chamber. Uh, it's the power supply device for the waste disposal system. It's securely sealed, it's impossible to operate. It's an oversized high-voltage waste disposal system. It is capable of disposing metallic items completely. Diaries and other things of this research staff are scattered everywhere. Okay. I don't think I really got any points, no. Well, we might as well save it real quick, because we got here. I really thought we were going to explore more of Edward City. Like, that was very small area. It's a control terminal for the waste disposal system. It was, like, all full of minigames. That was all Edward City was. Launch site.
That could actually come in handy with farming points. Okay. It's a control device to operate the power machinery. Cool. Yeah, I like the sub weapon. I wish I would have used it more often. Oh! Oh, I was doing so good. I like how I can walk through it. Man, I almost got the no damage. Well, I mean, I don't know if I would have gotten the no damage or not. I think they lost the combo, so I don't know if it counts it anymore, but... All the computers are covered with dust. Uh, this one has power. Will you operate it? I don't know what it is, but sure. You got the third energy disc. There's something behind the monitor. You have found a new dino file! Gigantosaurus. Giant lizard. That's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, there exists a dinosaur much larger than the T-Rex. Such a rumor spread among the soldiers. The search for it began three years ago. There have been no sightings. However, last summer, deep in the jungle, a dead T-Rex was found with huge teeth marks in, on its throat. The rumor was not going on to end just a, as a rumor. Not for a while. There is nothing known about their attacking behaviors. This can mean two things. One is that there is no such dinosaur exists. Two is that every soldier who did encounter it have disappeared without a trace. Soldiers who stayed away from the troop, approximately 70% of their bodies have not been found. Judging from this, we cannot ignore the fact that there just may be a gigantic dinosaur who have swallowed our men whole. Anyone who has seen the giant never lies, never lives to tell about it. Oh yay, so we have something bigger than the T-Rex to deal with. That's awesome. Uh, with the shield shutter activated, you can't go in- oh, that's a door? It doesn't look like a door, but okay. So where am I supposed to go? What? I'm confused. I'm confused what's going on. Do I have to put the disc back in? Um... I'm so confused. Well, can we open it? I'm lost. I'm lost. Okay. So what am I supposed to do with the disc? Is that all I need? Do I take that back to the ship, maybe? Oh god. Oh god. Oh gosh. You again? Persistent thing, aren't you? We got our missile pod.
right, one eye is dead. Dylan, you scared me. How did you get here? I finally found the third energy data disk. Great. Now we can get out of here. I brought the patrol ship around behind the building. Come on, let's go. How did you get here? What? what? It's our Cyclops friend again. Our Cyclops friend? <laughs> it can't be. The T-Rex is already... Attack on missile launcher confirmed. Activating emergency interception mode. Missile will launch in 10 minutes. Evacuate immediately. The computer is malfunctioned. This is not good. Where's the control panel for the missile? It's inside the warhead. I'll go in and shut off the controller. You go ahead and evacuate. Okay. You be careful. All right. Missile silo inside. Are there gonna be dinosaurs down here too? Oh my god, how did you get down here? Oh my god, do I have to run? I didn't even really get to save it. Oh, I gotta use the flamethrower. Access boost and missile launch are closed. Oh gosh. I have to run across, I guess. Oops, I didn't mean to skip the button. Oh shoot. You have 10 minutes to disarm the emergency interception mode of the missile Moorhead. The key to beating the gigantic dinosaur is using the flammable gas energy injection terminal on the walkway. Can't I just use this freaking weapon I have? I guess not. Hold on, why aren't you, why isn't it going to fire? There we go, alright. Alright, so the missiles really didn't do much. All right, well, let's use one real quick. Yes, 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 yes. Take it, 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 take it. Oh my god, this is confusing. It's not confusing, I'm just stressed out right now. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm confused. Am I supposed to knock him into that or something? Get 
off your ass. Let's go. Oh my god, that is so annoying. Why that knocks me down. Okay, did I do it? That really wasn't that bad. But I'm just... I'm just confused what's going on and what I'm supposed to be doing. giant dinosaur cause that to malfunction, but okay. I don't know, but we still got a time limit. Alright. I feel like we have plenty of time. That didn't take very long to take it down. Program restart the power is displayed on the screen. Will you restart the program? Yes. Oh, not one of these. Shit. I hate these kinds of things. Awesome. Okay. There's no need to operate it anymore. Alright, easy as that, huh? Okay. I feel like the dino face is gonna get back up, though. Yep. And he's gonna be pissed. Dylan! Cowboy! Come and help me! Oh! <laughs> Jeez! I think the dinosaur just killed itself. My god, that's the typical Resident Evil get out of here sound. Attention, missile destroyed. With the same voice actor. Warning, warhead armed. Evacuate immediately. I love it. All right, we better save it and get the hell out of here. I wonder if all the stuff I buy come, uh, like transfers over to New Game Plus. I don't have enough for it. Alright, let's just go. Oops, that's a uh, dead end. I think I'm good on like health and stuff. Backdoor access way. Yeah, you want some? 
wasting my time. Let's just go. <laughs> There's no point. They're everywhere. There we go. Get out of here. I got points somehow. Okay. Hey! Nice try. Nice try. Oh god. Okay, you got me. You got me. I'll give you that one. Come on, Regina. Let's get out of here. Launch site back door entrance. I feel like Dino Face is still alive. Are you okay, Regina? Get on, quick. Oh, give me a break, man! We're dead! We have to get as far away from this place as possible. Let's head down the river. Is it gonna be like the last game where we're gonna end on a boat? <laughs> Shooting the stuff off the, uh, from the boat? Great, the water gate's closed. We can't go any further. Wait, there's a valve. Of course. Maybe Gotta we can get open to the valve. it manually. Whoa. Let the men handle this. Let's go, bro. Fine. You boys, play nice now. Okay. Up there. Right. I feel like something's gonna happen to Cowboy. Well, here goes. Oh my god. Oh, I thought they were gonna eat him. While David is opening the water gate, cover for him using the gun on top of the guard tower. Oops, my bad. Well, I failed it. I failed to help you not get bit. I'm sorry. Loving these mini games. <laughs> Makes it seem like the uh, guns that I buy are pretty much pointless. Like the missile launcher, or the rocket launcher, and the missile pod are pretty much pointless. There, there have got to be another big fight. We got a combo 12, that was pretty good. And they just disappeared. Okay. I rule! Oh god. <laughs> that was so cheesy, cowboy. Bingo! Dylan, let's go back. Watch out! Oh, it's one of these, okay. Oh, did you hurt your leg? Oh no, Dylan! Cowboy with the heavy firearm. I'll save you, bro. <gasps> David! He didn't survive that. Oh, poor cowboy. Oh, boy. Where the hell are we now? Hey, helmet girl. Home? Home. What did you say? I don't understand. You want me to come with you? Home. Protect the girl from the dinosaurs and get across the jungle. Okay. Well, come on. Move it or lose it, sister. Let's go. Oh, come. Come. 
Oh, I see. Bitch. Alright, well, if it's just these ones, shouldn't have too much tr Ugh! What happened to your gun? Oh yeah, we took it from you. Oh, you dropped it or something? I don't remember. What the? Die! Alright, are we- are we done? So this is where she lives? This is her home, maybe? Jungle unknown area 2. Oh, we got more. Can I heal her? Because... Can I heal her? I don't think I can. She might be screwed. Um... What the hell? Oh, really? Why can she climb up there and I can't? I have to use a ladder? That didn't make any sense. But let's get out of here. Oh! <laughs> bitch! Well, that would be why she didn't open the door. That was cheap. There better not be a third area. Because <laughs> I don't think I could go... Another area with her head health being in red. Okay, good. Oh, now she's in a hurry. And her leg just happened to feel better. No. 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 Get out the ladder! Whew. Oh. What the hell? Why did she do that? The control terminal for the laser shutter. Currently, four backup locks are active. Alright, so I guess I gotta turn those off, but... Okay, these things do not stun lock at all. Alright, we gotta turn all these off, I guess. Alright, so there's one. Oh god. Oh god, there's- Ah, get out the ladder! Alright, here's two. Why is it- Yes. Okay, I was confused because it's green and then that one- Or that one was green and this one's red. It made me think that they ought to be green. I guess not. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, there, keep coming. Oh, here's a yellow one. Okay, so they're all different colors. 
I hope it doesn't have to be in a certain order. That would kind of suck. Get up the ladder! Get up the ladder! Get up the ladder! <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. We're getting up the ladder. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, we got a blue one. Turn off, turn off, turn off. Let's get to the laser door. I don't know why she set the lasers up when I was right behind her to begin with. That was kind of shitty on her part. Just go, 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 go. Okay, we got it. Still made no sense to me why she would do that when I was right behind her. Uh, Superintendent's Will. I knew it would all come to this. There's no way humans and dinosaurs could ever coexist. But if we sacrifice our lives now, we would leave a chance for the human existence of the human race. The irony is that this whole facility, which we are trapped in, was built to sustain a suitable environment for the dinosaurs. I am the superintendent of the facility, and I'm, only, I'm the only one left. I don't belong here. There is no future for this world. The children hurt by the dinosaurs have put inside life support chambers. I trust that the people of the past will take care of them. The life support chambers are almighty. It should be able to heal any wound no matter how critical they may be. So did somebody put his sister in this? Hold on. The children hurt by the dinosaurs have been put inside these life support chambers. I trust that the people of the past... Heal any wound. Also, the life support chambers will feed knowledge and teach them about this world. However, the chambers were originally designed for the growth of dinosaurs. Thus, the knowledge fed will be limited to the knowledge of coexisting with the dinosaurs. The tragedy is that the children will eventually lose their speaking ability, but instead they will have been inputted at the instincts to protect the dinosaurs. Today, I have recorded my message for the man who will definitely come here. With this, I have nothing to regret. What? So these people aren't from the future? The whole wall is lit up with indicators of instruments and devices never seen before. So these peep, these kids, I guess, are basically built with knowledge to take on these dinosaurs. But I'm just confused, like, where they got his sister then. I assume it's his sister. Unless they took her dead body, put it in the life support chamber, and brought her back. I don't know. Noah's Ark plan. Year 2009. It all began in Balzinia, a south republic in the southern sea. The first overdrive was the beginning of everything. During transportation, something went wrong and it resulted in a crack in the space-time, which skewed history after the Cretaceous Cretaceous era. To investigate the skewed biological history after the Cretaceous, an extensive experiment was conducted in, the, in a global scale. The result? Devastating. The space-time skew would take its effects on all living organisms. The Earth's history would change dramatically, and the change would wipe the human race from ever existing. That was the conclusion of the experiment. The plan was to transport the living organisms of the Cretaceous through the time gate to a world with similar environments far into the future. After the crisis had passed, the organisms would then be returned to their original time. We called this the Noah's Ark plan. This was the only plan that would leave any chance for the existence of the human race. We hope that this plan is successful and we shall declare execution of this plan. Huh. Interesting. Many computers are installed for data analysis of experiments. Uh, 
Yes, I will take that. Other side of the glass, many instruments never seen before. A circular-shaped instrument is installed in the center of these instruments. Well, I think I'm gonna stop the episode here. I don't know how much further I have left to go, but I don't want to keep playing if there's quite a bit left. Um, and I'm gonna buy this first. And I'm gonna save it. So anyways, um, yeah. Cowboy had an unfortunate end. I did not see that coming at all. And then they, like, foreshadowed it by having the dinosaur behind him, and then he didn't get eaten. And then you think, okay, he's in the clear. And then, no, he, another bigger dinosaur comes by and eats him. <laughs> so, it was actually kind of sad. I felt bad for Cowboy, even knowing he was kind of weird and goofy. But, sorry, David, you got the end. Um, Yeah, I'm not sure, sure how much left of this game we have, but it's... It seemed to be coming to a close, but now I'm kind of thinking maybe there's a little bit more left. So I'm going to stop the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Smash the like button if you did. Comment and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!